morning everybody just stitching away here and forgot about you for a second <laughs> Jan Hicks of Jan Hicks creates here how are you all doing on this second day of stitch mania I hope you're all doing well I certainly am let me pull my floss up here straighten things out again one of the one of the ends was getting a little loosey goosey. Anyway, welcome. It is May second, eight thirteen in the morning. Seventy two degrees so far here. Bright sunny day. I actually have the air conditioning on already. Um, it's just getting very hot down there with the sun coming in, which means it would be hot up here. So, in order to be comfortable up here for a little bit, I put the AC on. I hope it's not too loud of a hum. So we are on day two. We are working on Aloha, but first I wanna show you yesterday's. I did get done what I wanted. Little reminder, Liz Turner deal. This is called the 16th, it's very strange that the title of the pattern isn't on the front. This is the 16th century um, English family garden. So I had finished that one. I was hoping to get this done and I did. What do you think of that? Isn't that pretty? Love it, love it, love it, love it. So this is all DMC. Um, these stitches in the middle here and these are buttonhole stitches. Um, a little bit fiddly. I am not at all pleased with the instructions for the specialty stitches in this pattern. Um, I didn't pull out the page and I'm not going to fuss with it, but basically they tell you how to do the stitch, but they don't tell you how to start the stitch and end the stitch. So, I don't know whether you can see it on here, these lines along here are just straight stitches. So one is what you start with and one is what you end with. So the directions basically say how to build the stitch around here but it doesn't tell you like where where is your needle going for the straight stitch at the beginning at the end i kind of made it up some of them are better than others i'm i'm okay with it this one over here is the last one i did and it's definitely the best of the the best of the bunch but i'm not taking out what i've done so the next time I work on this, I may work and, and work on the border, get the border done on down on this side and maybe get the herringbone stitch put down on here a little bit and then start building down here. These little pieces, they do not take a long time. So as I get to this, I think it's gonna go fairly quickly. Look how pretty all the different stitches are down here. I cannot wait to get to that. It's going to be so much fun, although there may be some swearing involved. <laughs> Somebody on um, Instagram, I think, asked where you can find her patterns, Liz Turner Deal. I actually don't know if they're still available anyplace else. Um, like I said, that pattern, the, the copyright on that is 1996. Um, so the, it may be the only place you can find them are on like eBay. I will have to respond to her today on Instagram. So today's pattern is Aloha. This is it here. This is from the magazine Cross Stitch Crazy. I do not subscribe to this that magazine. I just bought this um, issue for this pattern. So uh, today I'm gonna be working on mostly, you can see it's the, the shading color here. I'm going to try and get, so that color, as you can see, is all through here. That's that dark blue. It's also the color on this side of the leaf, and it may also be the color on this leaf here. Um, so I'm basically just going to be working with this one color today and hope to get most of it done. I don't think I have too much going on today. So like I said, I don't think I have a whole lot going on today. As soon as I'm done with this, I will be 
getting on to Zoom with Tamara. Um, this Nana's this Nana stitches and doing our monthly double the stitchy fun video. So it'll be fun to catch up with Tamara on the other side of the continent. She is over in Maryland. We went to see Avengers Endgame last night, as I mentioned. I am probably the only one that you'll hear say, well, maybe not. I loved it. Don't get me wrong. I loved it. But um, I laughed. I cried. I came out pretty much emotionally wrung out, which I expected. You know, we've been watching movies with these characters for god how, how many years my kids grew up with these characters right um so it was kind of it was a it was a goodbye and i am not good with goodbyes look i'm crying already i woke up thinking about this stupid movie and everything that happened <laughs> do i get a little bit emotionally detached do you think mm, maybe a little bit um there were some some things with some of the characters that I thought were totally out of character and just quite frankly stupid. Um, so there were some things that I was disappointed about. I'm not going to say a whole lot more than that because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Um, but overall, of course, I loved it. We may go see it again on the big screen. Uh, we may just wait till it comes out on DVD and buy it. Um, DVD, Blu-ray, you know what I meant. We went to see the five o'clock showing, so it, I was really surprised. It was, and these are, this is one of these theaters with reserved seating, so we had bought the tickets, we were in good shape, but the, the theater was really, I don't know that it was even half full. It was one of the new theaters with the reclining bucket seats, you know, really comfortable. The theater here in Mililani is, um, is undergoing some reconstruction, some remodeling to bring it up to, I guess, 21st century standards, basically. And the theater we were in was definitely one of the new ones. But they give out free popcorn. Just little bags, but that's all we need. Um, they give out free popcorns to everybody, kind of like a forgive our dust Please keep coming while we're remodeling. Um, the movie was long. I had to pretty much pee for the last hour, but I wasn't going to get up and leave my seat. I could hold it. But yeah, so... Again, I hate to say it. Slightly disappointed. I may be the only person that says that. But I think mostly because... It was the last one, and I hate last ones. You know, I'm I like I'm the type of person I love long books, like Diana Gabaldon's Outlander series. Not only is it perfect for me because of the genre, um, historic fiction, time travel. Uh, it's just I've been reading her books for years and years and years and years, and I am on a I don't know how many time rereading of it. Her next book is going to be out sometime later this year. Um, but, you know, the big, meaty, meaty book that I can spend many, 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 many hours of enjoyment with. So Diana Gabaldon, speaking of that, so her next book is called Tell the Bees That I'm Gone. And if you, if you like her books and you don't follow her on Facebook, I recommend that you do. She will um, periodically, as she's writing the next book, she puts out excerpts from it so you get little glimpses into what the hap what is happening with the storyline you know not no big spoilers or anything um she also is hilarious she she includes hashtags on all of her co on all of her posts and her hashtags are usually along the lines of no it's not done yet hashtag i will let you know when it's done hashtag Everybody will know when it's done. Hashtag, this isn't the last book. 
hashtag stop asking, you know, <laughs> along those lines. Of course, she's hilarious. I, I love her writing, whether she's just writing a Facebook post or, you know, writing a book. But um, apparently her plan is at this point that um, there will be one more book after this. And quite frankly, I am probably going to be a mess when this story ends. So I, I did not start reading them as soon as she started publishing them. I probably started reading when, I want to say the second book, Drums of Autumn, came out. I don't think she was on Voyager yet. I think I started reading when Drum Drums of Autumn came out. Um, so yeah, I've been... Jamie and Claire have been a part of my life again for years. I'm going to be a mess when that series ends. I'm going to have to just like go in seclusion and mourn. <laughs> I'm crying already. I cry at everything. Oh my God. Menopause sucks. Of course, I cried at everything before I went into menopause. My boys would always laugh at me. I'd cry at Hallmark commercials. <laughs> God. The Apple commercials, forget about it. Forget about it. Blubbering mess. mess. So, um, Michelle L., ADK Stitcher on... Instagram. In noticing that I keep, you know, I have my little fans handy for hot flashes, she um, sent me a message on Instagram recommending primrose oil as a help against hot flashes. So I'm going to get me some of that because they're, they're, they are getting worse. Um, I turned, how old am I? I turned 54 this year. Is that right? No, I turned 55 this year. That's right. Senior discount time. Woohoo. Um, and the hot flashes are getting worse. So I would love to find something natural to abate them. So she recommended primrose oil in pill form. Anybody else use that? I'd love to hear your recommendations, your experience with things. will definitely be taking you know that the thought I've been thinking about stitch con and what to pack and I will be packing very very lightly compared to most people um, just because of, of all the traveling we'll be doing you know the whole logistics of how we're what we're doing um, when we come across to the mainland I don't want to have a lot of butt baggage so I'll be traveling very light and people are talking about, um, you know, do you take a sweater? They're buying all their stitch con gear, um, the spirit wear. I'll probably be the only person who hasn't bought that. Um, you know, but they're talking about how chilly it is. It may be in the convention center room. And I'm like, I don't know, as hot as I always seem to be running. Of course, I will probably be sorry if I don't have something. So I don't know. My, my brain is all over the place on what to pack and how to pack for StitchCon. We're going to the RV first. We're going to be out in the RV for a week in Flagstaff. And we have a whole set of clothes of all different seasonal clothes in the RV. We have a whole set of toiletries in the RV. So I don't really need anything for that. So I'm basically packing for StitchCon. Um, So yeah, my toiletries and, it, it, but I, I don't want to have anything but carry on since it'll just be me. I won't have Mike with me. Um, I just don't want to, we very rarely do anything but carry on anyways these days. So I, I definitely don't want to do it, do it on that leg of the trip. And then I'll be coming back, flying from Cincinnati. I think I have a layover in Chicago back to Phoenix. And then I think I have like only an hour in Phoenix to catch the flight back to the island. So I, I definitely don't want to be messing with anything too much at that point. Anyways, I think I'm going to end it there. We're at 16 minutes. So today, like I said, 
working on this. Tomorrow, check in tomorrow where I will be coming back to Aloha, Hawaii, the Jeanette Douglas piece where I have the volcano done. So tomorrow I will be working on, I think these are hibiscus over here. Ah, yay. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a great day. For those of you that are doing Stitch Mania, stitch your little hearts out. I love you guys. Oh, and make sure you, you check into um, this Nana Stitches, Tamara's channel, where we will be laughing and giggling very shortly. Love you guys. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.